Hello, today we're going to be learning how to do sound effects and today I have my edit I was working on stream. I'm only going to do a small part of it, but we're going to focus on this part right here. And we're going to learn how to do sound effects. So for sound effects, like kill sound effects, if you search them up, there's usually at least one video that has all the sound effects. And I can link the recent, most recent one in the description so you can go and download that. But when you have it, Go look for the, um, the sound effects you want to use. And for me, since you know all of that's reverb, I'm going to put reverb. And there's one Oni, so I'm going to get an Oni kill sound effect. So now that I have that, next, I'm going to put a reverb. So go to audio effects, all the way in the bottom of the effects tab. Drag in a reverb. Then for the settings I use, room height, like pretty much all the way down room length all the way down as well room width same again all the way down room size all the way down distance almost like almost at zero so like i say around like 60 something like that and then dry and wet i put it around like 15 like 16 15 area and it makes like a little echo effect it's better with like gun sound effects so i mean this is what i have this is my preset and uh to save it go to custom once you're here Go to the plus sign and then name your preset and then you could just press ok and then once you like import another reverb let's, i'm gonna do it to the oni i could drag it down click on the arrows and find it this is my presets idk once you have that uh you just need to like put a time it with the kills so let me do that All right, now that I have that, next, we're going to do the gun sound effects. You can always go in a custom game and make them yourself, which I did for the default ones at least. Uh, but you could also like search up online, like let's say Reaver Sheriff, which I am using in this one. So you search up Reaver Sheriff Showcase, and it should have the sound effects there for you. You just need to download the video. And so that's what I did. But... For Vandal, I don't have that, so I'm gonna just use a Vandal top. And since it's Reaver, I could always like put the tone down to negative two, the semitones, so it sounds a bit deeper. And then after, you know, reverb, I put the preset that I want, fix up a few settings if I need to, then just paste it, put it where like a little bit forward, cause I do shoot. And then same with the other one. So it sounds better with the sound effects. And we get the reverb one. Alright. I have the reverb sound effects. The sheriff. And so what I'm going to do is just, again, add the reverb. Change a few settings if I need to. And then I'm going uh, to time it with the kills. So this is one right here. Two right here. And then three. So now it sounds like this. So it sounds better. I'm gonna adjust a few things. There we go. It sounds better. Some other things we can add. But I mean, it's really not necessary. I just think they're cool to add. Our um, wishes to like add impact to your sound effects. And I will link a few in description in the Google Drive. Usually I use these for like transitions and stuff. But you, could, you guys could do whatever with it. Since I don't have the transitions ready, I'm only gonna use one of these which is wish 3, so it has like the most impact to it, so I'm gonna add my reverb and just place it somewhere. I'm thinking right here. And then also right here. You could always change up the tones if you need to. Like for example, like you all want to sound higher, put up the semitones to like... Uh, I would say like max, you could do like six. Get 
and it does sound better. It gives the audio more impact, which makes it sound better and makes it makes the video better overall. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there are other stuff you can add. Like let's say you're doing like a Polaroid transition, you could always add a camera flash like this. Or let's say you're in like, there's like sparkles or whatever. This is what I would add to it. Just to give it, you know, sound effects, just random stuff you could add. I don't like to go too much with it though. I don't add a whoosh every few seconds. Uh, you, you can if you want, but to me, just, it would be too much. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. I mean, it was simple. Reverb settings, you could always like change it up if you want. But uh, if, you could always like keep it around the settings I gave you. That's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, please subscribe, please. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, bye.